day. My name is Paul Beaver. I'm a biologist with a doctorate from the University of Chicago. I began working in the Western Amazon forest of Peru in 1980 as a field biologist for the Chicago Zoological Society. Shortly thereafter, I started my own business, the first adventure camping company in the Amazon forest. I wanted to share with people the thrilling adventure I had as a field biologist in this great wilderness. It started as a very modest operation consisting of a boat, some tents and machetes. But over the last four decades, my business has grown into a respectable ecotourism business that has won many awards and recognition being named six times in National Geographic magazines as one of the best ecotourism companies in the world. And in 2019, we were granted an award by the president of Peru as the most environmentally and socially responsible business in Peru. In 2007, we worked with the government to create a reserve called the Área de Conservación Regional Tamshiaku Tuayo. It has nearly half a million hectares in size. Also in 2007, we established a research center, which is the only human construction in all of this reserve. The research center is dedicated to providing field biologists with an opportunity to conduct conservation related research. It is formally recognized by the Peruvian government's organization, CONSITEC, that stands for Consejo Nacional de Ciencia, Tecnología y Innovación. CONSITEC is the official government organization in charge of generating and promoting the scientific and technological development of Peru. For many years, facilities of our research center have offered unique opportunities for scientists, students, as well as interested travelers to participate in scientific investigations in the Amazon rainforest. Dozens of scientific publications have been generated on subjects ranging from anthropology to forestry to zoology. Zoological subjects, which have been published on, include several species of monkeys, jaguars, pink dolphins, pygmy squirrels, poison dart frogs, harlequin toads, snails, bats, several species of fish, fish parasites, butterflies, damselflies, and caddisflies. In addition to offering opportunities to visiting scientists, we have two resident scientists, primatology postdocs, who are pursuing conservation related research on sake monkeys and titi monkeys. That is, we will soon have them as soon as pandemic travel restrictions are eased. We are very enthusiastic about our student program. As a person with a doctorate in biology, I'm distressed to see the de-emphasis in university staffing and funding of field biology in favor of molecular biology, including molecular genetics. While I do understand the great importance of molecular genetics in everything from health, medicine, agriculture, and understanding evolutionary processes, the conservation of our natural environment should also be a high priority investment. We are in the beginning of a sixth extinction event, which may very well end with our own extinction as a species. And good conservation management depends upon the data gathered by biologists working in the field. Unfortunately, there is currently a serious lack of opportunities for students to learn and progress in their careers for this important work. So we are very pleased in our modest way to provide opportunities for students to work with scientists, learning field research techniques, to advance their education, 
and become the next generation of field biologists. Thank you for listening.